Now it's very easy to get trapped in a job that you're really not happy with. You know, I mean, that you're there for the money you have to do, or you have responsibilities, or, or I don't know, your parents thought this is the best thing for you to study, or, and you wound up doing it, but it's not somehow in your soul. But it's like good enough. <laughs> and you don't have any really big problems. But you're not growing inside. And that's being suppressed. And then I think, you know, particularly when it gets to the point where, oh, it just hurts some days to be there and you just can't wait to get out of there. At the end of the day, I mean, that I think it has, you know, biological problems inside. I mean, it has to, your whole body is a one system thing and parts of it is wrong to screw up the other parts, you know, and then you become cranky and you come home and you're not happy. And, People don't, can't love you as well because you're not happy. But sometimes there's other reasons that it's hard to explain why you feel stuck there and you can't because you don't know where to go. And that's another reason people get stuck because they don't have the best idea yet or not going to make as much money and they have to disrupt everything. And God, it still eats away. Well, I think one way to get rid of that pain is to get hope. You know, if you have a hope, then there's something that brings joy to your life. That brings something a little more to the table every day because you have something you're excited about. And one way to do that is starting a project on the side. And this is a video, watch this video because this is a dentist. I mean, not a dentist, a pharmacist. Actually, I talked to a dentist doing the same thing recently. <laughs> a pharmacist. So I mean, you think they're done making good money and all this kind of, but it's not his soul where it wants to be. So he's on the side now, getting money in the internet through crowdfunding to start his kitchen gadget business, right? So instead of you know, solving drug problems or whatever, <laughs> passing out drugs, being a drug salesman, yeah, he wanted to do something like this, really improve people's lives in the kitchens. So, cute little gadget. It, it, it makes, you know, uh, artwork out of fruits and vegetables and everything with no, nothing powered by anything except your hand. Just some nice little things, hand that makes this beautiful design stuff. Yeah. And he's going gangbusters on the internet selling this thing before he even makes it. So you, you get money ahead of time. So now you could, you know, work on something like this part time in your garage or whatever. You know, while well, you have your normal job, that is really not the best thing you want to do. Yeah. <laughs> and then work on this and, and then see if people are going to buy it. Because, see, if you just build one, have one made and show a picture of what it does, then you go out and get money to have a thousand made or 10,000 made or whatever. And that's all you have to investment it is, is just getting that one to show people how it works. And then you get money from customers who will buy it when you finish manufacturing. That way it cuts the process short. You find out instantly if it's a success or not, so you can get on with something else. You know, and it's only now in our world, you know, with the internet and everything, are things like this um, available to us. So you don't have to suffer in that mediocre job because I think that's wasting your life. And I know that's difficult, whatever, but a way and you still need the money, you can't do it. So that's why I do something part time. So you have that hope, the hope that, and that will bring joy. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. That will bring joy to the rest of your life because you have something hopeful to work on every day, even if you can't wait to get home from work to go to work on your real thing that you really want to do. So watch how he does this. Sen Hollow. Uh, I killed him. <laughs> but tell him. <laughs> but it, it, it's actually, I mean, this spirulina, I think is a, a wonderful kitchen gadget, but it's not a gadget. It, it, it makes beauty in your kitchen from fruits and vegetables and everything that you can do. But but the gadget itself looks like a, a work of art for your kitchen. I don't know how you guys you have figured out how to make a kitchen gadget as a work of art, but you've done it. And it really takes like carrots or you make a spaghetti or whatever, and it makes that spiral staircase things that you could use, french fries and all these kinds of things that look delightful. And by the way, your, your video on Kickstarter is makes you want 
want to eat everything in that video. <laughs> it's not fair to have it not real. <laughs> it's going to be real very soon. Yeah, it, but it, it's really, it's a kitchen gadget, you know, that, that everybody needs in their kitchen. They want to make their food look tastier, nicer, and fun, and, and it's fun to use, and, and it doesn't take electricity or anything. It's just your hand, your little... No. The you know, gadget you threw it, and I think it's like twenty dollars or something on Kickstarter now, uh, at a fraction of the price it will be when you guys start making this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So how did a guy who studied in pharmacy become a kitchen gadget guru? <laughs> well, it's just you know having a vision to realize something. So we we came up with um, a few ideas on how to improve your kitchen life. I would say. And the first one, the round, sir, we thought that was going to do really well. It cuts and dices and, you know, it deals with everything. And then the partner for the round, sir, is the spirulina, which I is see. the product in question. So these are two gadgets. They're two gadgets. I would call them sisters. Right. Because um, the containers uh, can be used between each. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. So we would like to think of the spirulina as something more of a garnishing kind yeah. of appliance the other one does a hardcore cutting and you know the squares and name it whatever kind of cut you I want see. it does it for you but the but the spirulina now is is on kickstarter as a deal and, and and the other one is the sale is sort of over and you'll be getting it regular price right exactly yeah and, and they'll be available probably in about a month or two or so that you'll have these because still you're raising you know foundation money you know to get these things but you already made your goal I mean man you have two weeks left and you made your goal so it's on the way <laughs> you know you everybody knows you're gonna do it they don't have to worry about you not making it because you've made it already huh yeah that's fine but I can't get over I mean it, it really is I don't know if it takes somebody you know, not in America we're we're so clumsy with design and stuff like that here in America that that you to make something you know so elegant you know and and it's fun looking I mean beautiful I mean there's a lot of words for beauty but I mean to me this is like attractive fun you know I mean bright colors and you, you just we dedicate want... a lot of time on how you know the products look in the end and what we would like them to be, especially the packaging as well. Ah. We try to be very careful and make sure you know it's appealing. Not only the product, the product has to appealing? work. Appealing is that what? Appealing. That was a bad <laughs> pun. <laughs> no, we try and make it look you know good. You you want to buy something that is you know in tip top condition from the box to the product itself. Right, so that's it. No, the Brox is attractive, so I guess this will be a retail outlets around the world. And and, and if you go now to you know uh, and on your campaign, you could get it. You know, it's a, almost fifty percent off. You know, it's like twenty bucks and you got this twenty one dollars, and, and you're in on it. You're right. And, and when it gets out, it'll, it'll be like forty dollars in retail. Yeah, exactly. And um, I guess that's the whole idea of Kickstarter. You know, we're offering the public a way to get it uh, cheaper than what it's going to be. And, you know, we get to access those funds earlier as well to help us realize the right. goal. And that's how it works. And we're absolutely loving it. And the public are loving it as well, which is even <laughs> more brilliant. Well, your rounder, though, your earlier project made ten, you know, $50,000, sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000 or something on Kickstarter. And, and so you guys are, are really good at this already. Yeah. And, and making it. Uh, but I mean, I think, you know, when I see this too, because I mean, I, I don't hang around the kitchen much, that it's a great gift. You know, I mean, it, it's one of those things that everybody needs. You know, everybody would like something like this. It, you know, it doesn't break your bank doing it. And, and so you get one or two of these things to have around the house when you need a gift. Go, you're going to someone for dinner, you know, and instead of a <laughs> this is cheaper than a good bottle of wine and you take this and they get ready to use it <laughs> the thing is walmart are interested so it should be ready readily available for everyone wow no kidding walmart's interested oh that's really saying something wow that's amazing so here are two guys studying pharmacy your brother's a pharmacist too he's in business with you right and and you're into kitchen products on the side or i don't know sure which is the side and which is the front burner which is the side burner <laughs> yeah. 
but you guys are just industrious as hell, creative as all heck, and, and you got wonderful products. And you're stopping. I mean, reading your bio, you say you have a, a, another dozen that you just can't wait to get to that you're going to come out with this year. We have quite a few ideas and things we would like to realize, but you know, baby steps. We, yeah. we do one, finish that, and then move on to the next. Yeah. Well, you'll change your mind by the time you get there. <laughs> well, that's terrific. Well, you're a delight, and the uh, sp spirulina, <laughs> spirulina. So it's like ballerina, but spirulina. Uh, and, and it actually reminds me of ballerina because that stuff comes out of there as you're twisting it. You know, like somebody doing the ballerina and and, and things like that. And then you're rounder work not just put it in a blender and push the button yeah yeah no that's it you know we we all need exercise so we, you know we, we should get exercise while we're making our great food <laughs> instead of paying the utility company to do this right <laughs> one way of looking at it yeah. right well thank you so much and we'll all be talking about the spirulina because you'll be in you know walmart and all these places and it's a fun to talk with you and give my best to your your brother, your girlfriend's in the business, your brother's wife's in the business. It's a real family business. <laughs> no, will do. Thank you a lot for your time as well. And, you know, if you have any other questions, just let me know. And You bet. Will do. Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you so much for your time.